So you were, you were the first to actually alert authorities in Brownsville about that your friends were, were missing or hadn't made it back. Can you just, let's just start by telling us about why you and your friends were planning to go to Mexico. Um, Tay is my, Latavia is my best friend. She hit me up and asked me to join her, to accompany her um, in a trip to Brownsville, Texas for cosmetic surgery. And, and we, we began the road trip. We left out on Thursday and traveled to Texas. Once I got there, I was then informed that her procedure was being done across the border. Um, in that event, we were just arriving in Brownsville, Texas at Studio 6. And I didn't have proper identification, so I couldn't join her to go across to the border, which left me back at the hotel. So because you didn't know um, you'd be go Eric. You, you didn't know you'd be going out of the country, you didn't know you'd be going to Mexico, you didn't bring I ID with you. Did you travel with her and, and the others yeah, to I Brownsville or did you meet them there? No, we all traveled together. Okay. It was a road trip. So you, you did you so did you have any idea about threats down in Matamoros or what it was like across the border? Or did Latavia? No, sir, not at all. Not, not to my knowledge, I'm not, I'm assuming that she didn't know because I, I know her late, she's not gonna travel to danger. Did you, uh, did you actually try to cross the border with them and were turned away or did you just realize before even trying that you didn't have ID? No, she told me, she told me that when I told her I didn't have my ID with me, she then they dropped me off at the hotel and said that they would return in 15 minutes. That's why I was so like worried and in fear because it didn't seem right. 15 minutes had gone by, they, they were not there. So how long did you wait after 15 minutes? I mean, that it must have been agonizing. When, when they dropped me off, sorry, when they dropped me off at the hotel, I had got into the shower I showered and I laid on the bed. I think I was exhausted from, you know, the long hours, the long ride. So I felt I ended up falling asleep. I woke up and it was already five o'clock in the afternoon. So from nine to five, I went down to the office, the clerk in the hotel, and I asked him, had my friends come back or attempted to, you know, come in and out the hotel, come back to the hotel. And he told me no. Mm. So I called my I called my boyfriend, I called Tay's brother, and I said something's not right. And I text my roommate. I said something's not right. Nine o'clock got here, twelve o'clock got here, midnight, and then now we're into Saturday morning at ten twenty three. It's literally a few minutes before checkout. Mm. I'm like, there's no way. I called the cops immediately. And. I know you had you had their luggage, you had you had their things, is that right? I had three of the the three male victims mm. belongings. I I retrieved it after it became eleven o'clock. At what point did you learn about what had actually happened? When did you see the video? They sent it to me, I think um it had to be like between Saturday night and Sunday morning. Like the wee hours. What did you think when you saw that? I mean, I dropped the phone. My body clenched up. I dropped the phone. My stomach was in knots, and I just began praying. I just began praying for the return of them. I didn't know much about the cartels, and I started looking up videos, and it was it was bad. It was bad. I I, I began to think the worst.